Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Sunday, so you know what that means. We are asking the question, will we see upgrade packs for Ultimate Team of the Season today? And will we see more SBC players? And will the content this week transition upwards from where we've been in a lull of content with the end of Serie A into the League One last week? Is EA going to flip the switch like they did with Bundesliga and La Liga? earlier this team of the season, or are they going to keep it kind of low-key? We're going to talk about that today and the upgrade packs that we might see. Now, there's a lot of options for upgrade packs, right? Because we have an ultimate tot squad with tons of different players in it from all different leagues, from the top five leagues re-released. So that could be very interesting for upgrade packs today. And as well, I want to talk about this market as well and that Conte 91 man of the match because I think that's honestly a bit a huge L from EA Sports with that card and not, and not getting something else in this game. But the first thing is first, I want to talk about these guys that are in ultimate team in season. Now, last year, I was looking back at what happened last year, kind of during the weekend league sell-off. Ultimate Tots last year was not very exciting at all. And we are not off to a good start with the cards that are in packs. No Neymar. We have DeVry instead of Varane. We have got Harry Kane that is in the team. I know EA has to include some cards that are, you know, not not the most rare because they have to make it packable, right? But only 15 players in the squad is an L. So I think we're just not very... And these cards are also incredibly, incredibly hard to pack. Like, I know that the um, rest of the world and the MLS TOTS cards go out of packs tomorrow on Monday. But I really don't even want to think about how hard it's going to be to pack a team this season. Because some of these cards have barely dropped in price. And that just tells me that there's not that much new supply coming on the market for guys like Mbappe, Messi, and Ronaldo. Messi's 2.86. He's up a couple hundred K from where he was, right? Mbappe's around the same price. Lewandowski's down 100K and Ronaldo's down a little bit as well. Bruno hasn't moved in price as well. So again, it's crazy to see some of these cards and how they have not dropped in price. Now, I do think that could mean price drops today because last year on Sunday of Ultimate Team of the Season was actually the lowest for a lot of these TOTS cards. So if you see drop-offs today on a guy like Messi, Lewandowski, Mbappe, Ronaldo, those types of players... I think it might, if you want to buy those cards for a longer term hold into the sum, summer to buy for your end game team, it could be honestly a play because we'll look at some card graphs from last year and show you it happened with the icon moments as well. This Sunday sell off, if this week is not very hyped for content, then we might see some of that stuff actually rebound back in the next couple of weeks, especially with Ultimate Tots rewards coming. And yes, some supply coming to the market for these cards, but also, again, more and more coins coming to the elite tier level market and people that want to use those coins to buy these types of cards. So we're going to take a look back at last year, right? This is TFA's video last year from Ultimate Team of the Season Monday. And these are the upgrades that we had, an 82 plus double, an 82 to 88, and an 83 plus double upgrade. Now, the issue was... This 82 plus double upgrade, it was like the upgrades that they released were just so dead, right? We were used to the premium upgrade packs. We were used to the player picks that they were putting out last year too. And then they released this for ultimate team of the season, which was a huge, huge, huge letdown. Now today, right? What we've seen for the past couple weeks have been league specific premium packs. And I think the best way for EA Sports to do it today would be for them to to drop league specific premium packs for every single league. So the, the packs, the premium upgrade and the regular upgrade that they dropped uh, earlier this season, right? During team of the season for every single league, I think the best thing they could do today is drop all of that and also drop the 81 plus player pick because then you would have the opportunity to pick and choose your league that you would go after, right? Let's say you really, really, really want to pack uh, Messi. Uh, then you would obviously go for the League One Premium Upgrades. You'd have a chance of packing Messi, Oblock, and I think those are the only two cards from La Liga to be in the team, right? Let's say you wanted to pack Bruno. You'd be able to pack Salah, Cancelo, Bruno, De Bruyne, and Kane from the Premier League Upgrade Packs, right? So I think that would be something that would be very nice to have today as well. But also that 81 plus player pick, of course, being able to pack any of these cards and the fodder being very nice as well. I think that if that SBC comes out today, then it's a W, right? Then we can craft the 81 plus upgrade, still pack MLS and rest of the world tots for one day. Uh, and then that'll help with just crafting SBCs throughout the rest of this week. But if the content is like it was last year with just those very low tier and not grindable upgrade packs, then in my opinion, that's gonna, just going to set the tone for the rest of this week. Now, we've had the Usman Dembele and the Javi Martinez SBCs released. This card, in my opinion, is pretty cool. 
low medium work rate, so it's not very good. But again, this is like the best Javi Martinez item I think we've almost ever had in FIFA. He's a very sentimental kind of value card. A lot of Bayern fans love this dude. Or, you know, you know, this is a very sentimental FIFA card just for the players Javi Martinez is. But, of course, that this SBC and the Usman are pretty solid, right? Pretty good value SBCs. A lot of hype around them, especially Usman. Now, again, last week we had Awar, we had Joe Gomez, and then after that, it fell off. So two weeks before that, we had Chucky Lozano, and we had Nine Golan, and then it fell off. So today is really the day where we see, is Ultimate Tots going to have good content, or is it going to be another dead week, and is EA going to spice the content up after this for the Euros? So that's the biggest question that I think we're going to be able to actually answer today is if the upgrade pack content is good, if we get a, another player SBC, and if we get some sort of upgrade pack like non-repeatable as well, like an 85 times 5 or an 83 times 10, 84 plus player pick, if something like that comes today, then I'm feeling Bundesliga or La Liga vibes and not one of the dead weeks like Bund uh, like Prem or League One. So also if we have like icon player SBCs as well, EA Sports, we have Dr DDA Drogba, Sol Campbell, and Pirlo all expiring today. We need more icons to be released. So this is your chance again, EA. Uh, that Moments Eto, Moments Mateus that have been talked about for forever, just drop them, right? Today's the day we need more icon SBCs as well. But again, that's the biggest part of the day today is the content because that's again going to set the tone in my opinion for the rest of this week. And if we don't get good content today, Again, this is what I'm mentioning. Some of your icons, this is last year's 95 Ronaldo card. Look at the absolute lowest that he hit. During League One and during Ultimate Tots, 7.0, uh, where is it? 7.079 million coins on the Xbox and 5.6 low, or sorry, 7 million coins on the PlayStation, about 5.6 on the Xbox, and look where they were literally at the end of June. Three weeks later, 8.7 and 6.7. So big rises on some of your elite tier meta icon moments that, you know, probably aren't getting an SBC. So guys like Eusebio, guys like Pele, these types of items that are very rare, people are going to have a lot of coins, um, again, with Ultimate Tots rewards. So if you see... If you see these guys dropping a lot today, if you see undercuts, if you see multiple listings uh, on these types of cards, even like a moment's push guys is a card that could get an SBC, but if he doesn't get one, you know, if you see a lot of panic selling today, we might be sort of in a low point for a lot of those cards. And again, the same thing with the ultimate team of the season items. If you see a lot of panic selling today on these guys, like big drops, like I'm talking messy, like back to 2-5, where his, his absolute lowest has been, then I would say, hey, we might have to get involved. There might be a situation here and we might have something where if you want to buy one of these cards for your team, it's going to be a great opportunity to do that. And, uh, and possibly make some money. Depending on, of course, we can't predict what's going to happen during the Euros content. We, we don't know what's going to happen with that kind of thing. But if we do see some huge price drops today, then, I mean, to be honest, if it's a very meta card that a lot of people want to buy, and it's also a very expensive card, I would have no problem with you pulling the trigger if the content does not look that good. Because we'll also get lightning rounds today, which is going to supply the market, more of the market with SBC fodder cards, uh, which again, SBC fodder continues to drop. Now, I released a little TikTok video yesterday talking about buying into fodder. And this, in my opinion, is your last, one of your last chances in the next couple of weeks. Again, unless EA run some sort of, um, you know, two for one packs promo like foot player days they randomly dropped that on us uh then i think that this fodder is going to be at its lowest because again last year during ultimate tots fodder got very very low and then it rebounded very extremely in a couple weeks after that with um big time icon sbcs being released and the summer heat content being an sbc driven promo last year happened right after ultimate team of the season so with that being said, 100% keep an eye out. If you don't have any fodder, which myself, I'm like 100% liquid right now with a couple fodder cards in the club, 3 million coins. I might be putting 500,000 coins into a club stock with 84s, 85s, and 86s, and even some of the higher tier stuff. Because again, if you have time and you're not looking to for a quick flip, a lot of this stuff is going to rise over time and you're going to see huge profits because there's going to be more and more SPC content that is released in this game over the over the summer i really believe there is no question that that's going to be the case just because uh, of the fact where this game is headed and all of the icon moments packs that we have in the code uh, again i've been mentioning this for the last week or so i think there's literally zero chance that ea does not release those as sbcs i think they are going to release them 
as SBCs, and they're going to try to suck some coins off this game using some of those Icon Moments packs, which a lot of people would be interested in regardless because those packs look sick, right? 92 plus Icon Moments, insane. Anyways, that's kind of my thoughts on that. Now, also, yesterday, a part of the content that was not good yesterday is what I'm on this little sidebar right below my face cam right here with this 91 rated and Golo Conte. I think this is honestly a joke because last year we had this incredibly boosted 96 rated Tiago. Now I understand that last year with COVID, this card came out in August. And of course you could argue that, hey, right now, you know, with the current state of the game, it's only June. I mean, it's the end of the game anyway. EA Sports, I'm disappointed in this, man. He already has a 91 what if card that is basically better than this uh, man of the match item. And it's 500K. So, I mean, I really think that this should have been like a 95 rated Conte today with a sick dynamic image, uh, whether it's put into packs or whether it's an SBC. I really think EA, I think they messed up today, man. I really do think that they did. Now, we also got a Ruli man of the match card, of course, for the penalty shootout that you guys remember for uh, the Manchester United Europa League final game, um, which again, I think that's just, that's just bad for EA Sports. They needed to do more with that one today. But the Javi Martinez was kind of cool for sentimental reasons, but also I feel like a lot of people, if we maybe go inside of the active challenges section here, it's got a lot of thumbs up, but how many people are actually doing it? 41% of people are actually doing this SBC. Um, Usman Dembele's price has dropped down a lot as fodder is continuing to go down. Uh, so again, today's gonna be a big day with upgrade packs, and it's really gonna give us a vibe for what the rest of this week is gonna look like content-wise, and if it's going to be hype or not. Now, of course, weekend league sell off on a lot of stuff. Stuff is going to drop down low. Again, if the content's not good, it might bounce back later on this week. Focus on your really rare cards, um, you know, like this Pele, 2.7 already. I mean, dude, this card could really be in the two sixes, maybe the two fives with a couple undercuts later today. And your cards that did not get into ultimate team of the season, like this De Young, 139, he was in the one four highs. Goretzka was like 2.4. He's now back down to 2.1. Keep an eye on this stuff. Really, for real. Keep an eye on this stuff. Now, I'm sure he might have gotten, I don't know if Javi Martinez would have affected his price today, but I would 100% keep an eye on some of these Tots cards that did not get in, like Sun, uh, the, the very hype ones, like the Young, Varan, those types of players. If there's sell-off on those types of items today, um, then you could potentially get involved with those. Like this Varane is just so rare, 2.369, incredibly, incredibly rare card. I'm going to add one of the transfer targets because I want to keep an eye on this dude because he's going to be great to trade since he's so rare. So watch the sell-off on those today. And if the content looks like it's going to be bad throughout this rest of this week, then the sooner you buy some of that stuff when people are selling cards, probably the better. Now, of course, we don't know what's coming at the end of this week. Summer Heat, Euros content, that's a huge question mark. Uh, but of course, we'll be covering that if we get any information later on this week as well. That's like the only big question mark that we have and we're not sure about at this time. So that's the video for today, boys. I really hope we get good upgrade SBCs, a good player SBC, icon player SBCs. It needs to be a Sunday like it was during Bundesliga or La Liga team of the season to carry this game through the weekend, in my opinion today on FIFA. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.